Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the week one showcase of what we got going on in our Minecraft realm. Kind of like unnamed right now. Uh, not going to say what the current name of the realm is, but me and the homies have been getting to work this past week. And so uh, I want to show you what we've been kind of up to, what we've been doing. Uh, we had this one week of progress about, and I'll I'll put a... Once we get to the map part of this, I'll put a picture to show you kind of like what how it, what it like how it looked when we started and what it looked like uh or what the map looks like now. So, let's just get things going. So, we're starting off out here uh with this is me and TJ's uh fish fry that we're about to make. Uh it's a work in progress, of course. We only got the dock made right now. That being said, um alongside the fish fry, it should probably have I think either on this river or a river nearby, we're gonna have a sort of like Venice-like city. That's kind of the inspiration. We're gonna make like almost like a market where it's very like oriented by or inspired by Venice. You know, everything's like water transport on the river, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, building a fish fry. So first things first, let's go over to Nathan's house. We kind of got these nice little paths with the stone and the lanterns, nice little infrastructure. The azalea trees looks very nice. Okay, hold up. Let me like step outside and look at this real quick. Yeah, this is a gargantuan house. This is just his house, straight up. Uh, it's not quite finished yet. It looks more like a dungeon slash mob farm right now, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but it's getting there. This is a huge project. So he's been getting to work on that over the week. Over the week that this server has been live. But yeah, multi-storied. He just finished the roof, which I wonder if I can see if I can get like a good like perch to show you guys oh that skeleton's not gonna like that i don't know we'll see let's jump over here and kind of see got like leaves with the deep slate and stuff going on very like dark that like, goes with the spruce really well um so yeah that's what he's cooking up but we'll see what nathan's house looks like maybe next week i don't know if this these will be like weekly videos or if these will be um Kind of just whenever we feel like making them. I don't know how like committed we're gonna stay on the server. You know, this is this is assuming we even like continue the server past you know the initial like two week craze. Oop, what the? Get out of here, bro. Oh shit! Oh, my god. <laughs> okay. But assuming we kind of stick with things and make this like a long term project, like we intend to, um, it's going to be. I'll give you guys like a an update every once in a while. Not a consistent schedule, but whenever we got big things to show you, because we've been hard at work. So anyway, got a nice little way to get up here, because we're building everything in this sort of valley that we got going on, um, which is pretty cool. So we dug this kind of pathway out. This is gonna have more stuff in it. We're gonna make this almost like a like a marketing, not marketing, uh, like a little market night market type thing i don't know i don't know what the plan is that's kenny's jail cell <laughs> or it will be in a moment but as soon as you walk out you are greeted with a view of the castle along with a few other things so yeah we're, we're gonna get we're gonna get to all this so and then we got aiden's beacon but over here we'll start with my stuff since i'm kind of the closest it's like you're know, right here in front of you so you walk out over here it's kind of just like my project board what i'm working on um Etc. Not very interesting. My banner stuff. I'm gonna be making a banner shop right over there. Uh, it just looks kind of like a little shack right now. It doesn't look that good, but it will pretty soon. Just give it some time. Um, I'll be selling banners as well as doing like cartography and managing all the maps, pretty much. Um, crafting area. My house. There's like some vines and craziness, but this is kind of the upstairs area. It's kind of nice. A lot, of, a lot of balconies. And then you go down here. I'm not even going to go down. There's a spiral staircase, but uh, a lot of vines and whatnot. Very open. Got a little sheep farm out here. Oh, you're not getting out. Um, kitchen with the vines kind of growing over. It's getting a little crazy. Speaking of which. Um, and then a little foyer up here. Slash living room type thing with the back balcony up here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think he's going to say because they're annoying to deal with because they teleport. Um, but here's kind of like the front of the house. 
you know, like with the little farm, the azalea and whatnot. Because okay, look cool little banners, but it's kind of like a little outside view of what's going on in the house. So that's enough about what I got going on. Uh, this is a little pathway back outside. Um, let's get to the map stuff. So map wise, this is what I'm talking about when we're gonna we're gonna kind of see the progress. So right now. I will put up a picture of the map like when we started. I got that on my phone. I sent a Snapchat with it. Um, and then I might even put up one of this, the server literally yesterday. Yesterday marked like the one or two days ago, I guess now. Marked the one week milestone. And now we are hitting, you know, we are we even got like more stuff today. But this is like, a, this is one week in progress. Which is insane. We're getting to work. We got a lot of people going, uh, going at it on here. So... Big stuff, big stuff happening, but we got we got infrastructure marking everything. It's super cool. First things first, we got Lexi's bee farm. Looks very nice. I really like the like the leaves in the spruce and whatnot. The stairs looks very nice, very fitting for the run. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> See eating so I can come back and fight again. Bruh. <laughs> anyway, um next thing. So we got Lexi's bee farm. And if you kinda keep going down, uh I guess we got like my little campfire area. It's kinda cool. Little forest. We got like every single tree type here, which is kinda insane. But also very nice at the same time. Next we got Lexi and Aiden's house. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to... So we got Lexi and Aiden's house. Um Yeah, where was I? So you kinda walk into like the little estate here. We got a bunch of little farms. We got the axolotl chilling in the little furnace area. Um sugar cane farm, a bunch of other little farms. And then you walk into the house. Big grand opening with the disgusting banner. We're gonna change that soon with my banner shop. Um, and then you go in here. You kind of go in the the kitchen, and you got a nice little view of the surrounding area. Oh my god! Look at all this stuff that we haven't even gotten to yet. Crazy kitchen over here. Kind of same sort of thing. Very like a lot of glass. Oh, they have a balcony here. Oh, I didn't even see this. Wait, this is cool. Okay, I like this. Oh, wait, this is uneven though. Okay, I'm not even gonna. Hopefully, they fix that when they see this. Um, anyway, moving on. They got they kind of got the scaffolding laid down for like their third floor, but um, it's a work in progress. Up here is basically just leads to their mine. Which speaking of which, uh, don't look at that. Nate, Aiden. <laughs> I think Aiden is approving of this, but. <laughs> Okay. Ever since taking his beacon to use the the mining haste for his castle over there, but then he's gonna put it back after. But they got a cool garden. I guess that's what we think. Well, I guess we'll find out later uh, if he actually puts it back. But um, oh my god, dude, the view they have of the valley is unrivaled. Oh my god, if you kind of look like throughout, you'll see that like everyone like I got like a little balcony. That we got Henry's uh, bedroom window there. We got the giant pagoda, I should say. That's what it kind of looks like. Big tower. Like, having, like, a lot of space to view the surrounding area is honestly amazing. Just because it looks like, I don't know, man. This is easily my favorite server, and I'm pretty sure everyone else's favorite server. For the most part, I would... I'm not going to put words in their mouth, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, Aiden's got, like, a mine going on in there. <laughs> so... We'll just let him, uh, Emerson's just helping him out with the mining. <laughs> we didn't see anything. Um, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. So, next thing's next. Uh, I don't know if that's like a way to, that's an expression or not, but. Uh, we have this little river that we just put in like an hour ago today. It's a little natural, man-made, but it tries to look, you know, as natural as possible. Um, a lot of moss and stuff that we got. We finally have like azalea and moss and stuff. And it looks gorgeous. Um, last thing we need is just mangrove. I think that's like the one thing we're missing here is mangrove. Because uh, we got cactus. I think we're just missing mangrove. And then it'll be like we have every single kind of supply that one could dream of. Um, but 
So we, we're, we got kind of like a fork in the road here. We got a little middle area with the fountain. Shout out to Stuart for building this fountain. Uh, let's check out Henry's place first. We're going to go over here. And we're going to check out Henry's domain. We got Abdullah, the Arabian warlord, his trusty steed. Uh, this banner that he stole from me. That I, like, this is, I screwed it up because I mixed up the order. And then realized I didn't have all the patterns necessary. That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I was getting those creeper heads and whatnot. And the Mojang symbol. Um, to make those dope banners that I find on Pinterest, deadass. Um, but yeah. So he kind of stole that. It actually kind of fits his, like, theme, though. Not gonna lie. But cool little waterfall thing. Then in here, he's got, it's kind of like a grand open area. Whoa. He's got his trash. Thank God I didn't jump in that one. I trapped myself in there a little bit ago. I was his little sleep paralysis demon. Um, <laughs> for a sec. It is infinite water source. But he's got his chickens. Uh, he's got his dog. And then just like a storage room. And then up here is his bedroom. With cool little painting. The lanterns with the chains look very nice. And it looks over the valley. Because obviously you want that valley view. Because damn that shit is gorgeous. Um, but yeah. That's kind of what's going on here. I'm kind of dropping in frames. I don't know what's going on. Every time I look this way, you'll see. It just because like our cow and sheep farm, whenever I look this way, it just gets mad laggy for no reason. Um, for zero. But yeah, that's what Henry's got going on over there. Let's see. Let's head over to Stewart's now. Eventually, this will be a bridge. We'll have a bridge going on here, which will be super nice. Um, and with that bridge... Yeah, it'll kind of complete a little thing, but I'm still trying to figure out design for that one. You can see that one looks pretty rough. Uh, so I'll get to fixing up that one pretty soon here as well. But kind of come over here to this little pond area. We'll go to Steve, uh, <laughs> to Stewart. I was thinking like I was between Stewart and TJ. Yeah, TJ storage shop coming soon. He's got the sugarcane farm, which he actually, he had bamboo here at one point. He replaced it though. I don't know if he just wanted more sugarcane or, but I think he's making like a sort of department store. I want to say he's going to kind of sell everything because TJ is weaponizing these farms to say the least. He is uh, killing it when it comes to getting these farm mechanics down. He's leading the charge, but this is his house. He's got this like circular dome with this cool like top like arch thing. My God, with the glowstone kind of hide in here. Looks super nice. Um, let's show from the top. But it's got this cool little like arch thing going down into it. Oop, I don't want to destroy his potatoes. This is a... Uh, um an afk sort of i think it does like prevents you from going afk and like timing out of the server um so it's like this little contraption it's kind of crazy to sit in the boat and then go around in a circle if i can get in the boat oops uh oh did i break it i don't know there we go boom yeah that's kind of how it works anyway <laughs> so tj has got his uh roof here i was looking for the right word geez i don't want to destroy this thing then over here he has got a kelp farm or i think he's i think it's a work in progress he's using kelp to generate a lot of bone meal uh, just by composting it's because kelp grows so fast i think he's got it pretty much down i think there's probably just like uh one or two things needs to be like tweaked and that should be ready to go but coming back from stewart's Let's head over here to Rocco and Alicia's home. And my God, Rocco and Alicia have been getting after it with all this stuff. Um, yeah, it's so insane, like, having so many people on this one server. Cause, and everyone's been kind of grinding. So you can see that everyone, like, the, like think a lot of progress is happening very quickly. And, oh, my God, they got the dogs just chilling in the swing set. I love this. this they, these were not here, like, an hour ago. Uh, when I tried I when I did the first take of this video that didn't actually record. Um The house is looking good. Aiden. <laughs> but he's got this cool minecart thing. So you can kinda go down yourself as well as with like a chest. Uh, you're gonna put your stuff in there. Go down there, do some mining, and then send it back up. Uh which is super cool. Let's kinda go around like the base of the house here. Here I'll just hide my UI, honestly. Um But he's they got the smelly, silly fat cows. Um, and then these stupid, dumb, poopy sheep, uh, which is kind of crazy, but <laughs> so that's what, that's the labels I got for their livestock. Um, unfortunate to be one of those guys, I'd, I'd say. Little chimney thing going on over here with like a lot of smelting. 
basically just a big crafting area over here, which is super nice to have. Like a little side area, which I kind of like, kinda like. Um, well, let's go into their house. We'll go up here. You see they got the carrots and stuff going on, which is super cool. Carrots, potatoes, I believe over there. We head inside. We see over here on the left, they have some bookshelves whatnot. A cool carpet. A bunch of different colors. They have like the good combo going on. Read your bookshelves because I have vanilla tweaks on. Courtesy of, uh, I think it's Zuma. It's Zuma, whatever it is. But yeah. Where's the, I'm trying to get the, there we go. Yeah, you can see I got the, the old Minecraft door noises because, yeah, that's where it's at. Anyway. They got their dog here. They got like a cat tree, which I think is actually so innovative. I've never seen anyone do this in Minecraft. Uh, so I think this is super cool. But I'm just geeking out over here. Over here, they got their kitchen. Once again, lots of windows. Lots of stuff. Kind of highlighting the, the, the beauty of the valley here. You can do some cooking. Wow. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to steal two of these. And I'm going to put the rest in their pantry. I'll steal one, I feel bad. But I do need one low-key. Otherwise, I can't sprint around. This is the payment for making the video. Um, first, let's go down here, I guess. Let's go down to kind of like their little dungeon. This is the big crafting area. This is their big... Uh, I, lo I love this design with the glowstone here. And then... Actually, is this glowstone or is this? Oh, I forget the word. Or I forget the, what the block is called. But that along with like the deep slate, I believe. The cobbled deep slate with the glass. I love that design. Uh, big storage area and whatnot, and then you go out here and it kind of leads out to their side area. But let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys what they got going on upstairs. Maybe some of this has changed since I've even since I've even been here. But they got this cool area, just like a little chill hangout area, very outside, outdoorsy. This is kind of cool, honestly. If someone put this on like a regular house, I think that'd be so cool. Where you got a roof over your head. If it's raining, you can just sit in here and hang out. Like how cool would that be to have? Like in your own house. That being said, like this house would have to be like a mansion, like like this one. You know? But anyway, so uh, it's nighttime again. You kind of see the lights and stuff going on outside. Uh, but this is the bedroom over here. We got like the crown and stuff, king and queen perhaps is what they were going for there. But gold armor stands looks fantastico. Um, oh, you can see the bee. The bee going around in circles. Yeah, that guy has just been doomed to go in circles for eternity until someone frees him. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what they got going on inside their house. But that is not all, actually. We're going to go out here and we're going to head around and do a little circle. And we're going to go. So they got like this waterfall with the farm and whatnot. I want to make sure I highlight all the little details because they got a lot of that going on here. I think that's what makes this place so spectacular is that um yeah we got this giant pathway that they built up to the top and then we're gonna find ourselves at the pagoda in a moment but a lot of leaves a lot of stone bricks very like almost like random like patterning which makes it look so awesome i like that because it makes it look it's almost like worn down very like very lived in i don't know it just makes it look not like robotic and weird which is super cool but they got beetroot uh melons and stuff going on up here and then oh my god yeah we're gonna get a full view at night which i think Nighttime is honestly going to be the coolest to get the view of up here. So I'm kind of glad that that's kind of the way the day is going. But you go up here. They almost got like another little pagoda thing. Um, I forget what this is called. Like, I don't know. like almost like a shrine style type thing. But let me get rid of this guy. Because these skeletons are so annoying. Oh my god. But let's get back to it. Little pond area. I think it needs some lighting. <laughs> I think some lighting would benefit it. Um, but I'm guessing they're getting on that. They probably got lanterns and stuff going. I've only seen this during the day up until now, but super nice, very chill area over here. I love it. And then you keep going up. I'm guessing they're probably still stylizing this. Yeah, considering the giant dirt towers, I think Rocco died like eight times trying to get this thing done just because it's so freaking tall. Yeah, I actually destroyed one of the flowers. Oh my God. All these mobs. But yeah, it's been a project. And I think, uh, I, I don't know if it's quite finished yet. Oh my god, these are just spawning. Oh, I'm just trying to look at the thing, man. Oh my god, I'm actually going to die. Hold up. I heard a skeleton too. Um, anyway, this giant pagoda, which hopefully there's no mobs in here. No, there's not. Oh god, I hear a skeleton. He shoots me, I'm just dead. 
I'm a little scared. I'm gonna try to run away. I don't wanna die in the middle of the video, but this big old pagoda that has a grand view of what's going on down here. So if we kinda jump up here. Take a look at the valley. Oh, at night it looks so cool. There's the banner shop. My house, Aiden's house. Henry's house is kinda below us, so to the left. I don't know if we can see it. Uh, not really. It's like right there. Uh, Aiden and Lexi's house. Stuart, uh, which I think Emerson is borrowing some sugar cane from the farm. And then we got Emerson's monstrosity of a castle that we are getting to very soon. Because holy shnikes, this thing is cool. So that's probably the highlight of the of the, uh, the builds right now. Just because no one else has finished anything at that scale quite yet. So like when you walk into the valley and you see that castle, it's like holy like, oh my god, these guys have been, like, getting to work. <laughs> Crazy, because it's been only been one week on this server. If they have any food, I might have to steal some more from their kitchen, I'm not gonna lie. I am starving. I'm about to die mid-video. Unless they got something here. Nope. Alright, we're just gonna wing it. Um, yeah, that's what Rocco and Alicia got going on. A lot of building going on. Very cool stuff. Like, this house is... So nice, so nice to look at, as well as the pagoda up there. It just adds some more depth because we're getting some trees going up on top of the valley because we live in one giant bowl, pretty much. What is that? What did I see here? Okay, All right, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we're back. Um, after the death, I still gotta go get my stuff, which is still sitting down there, by the way. I just want to show off kind of like the valley with the sun rising over it with shaders. Just where you can see like the sun kind of creep over. Oh my god, it's so nice. It looks so cool. You can kind of see like the shadows here. Um, It just looks so beautiful, dude. Oh my god. So, if you don't play with shaders, get on it because it just straight up changes the game. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're back and I have all my stuff, it's time to explore this thing right here. So this is Emerson's castle, and he had most of this built, honestly, within the first two days we had the server. So now, like, I mean, it's only just going to grow. I think even tonight he's going to be putting a lot of work onto it. I think he's building a few more layers, so it's only going to get taller, which is insane. But uh, the stylizing is just crazy the just <laughs> the magnitude of this thing i don't know it's so just fun to look at but we like almost like porcelain type of fountain he's building something inside of here i don't know exactly what the plan is but got all these like supports so it's not just like a complete you know hollow shell of a castle which is super nice but let's go up here so he's got like little pillars over there there's just grass not a whole lot going on on the sides um we go up here there's the nether portal Nicely stylized gross banner. We're gonna fix that very soon, like I said. Um, looks like everyone's got these ominous banners because these pillagers keep coming back. But you make it to the top, kind of. Um, and then you get a big old view of the valley, which is very nice. I didn't even touch on this like jungle sapling. How sick does that jungle tree look? Kind of like in comparison to everything else, just adds like some more height to the valley, which is super nice. But he's got these custom made trees, which are super dope. Like, damn. <laughs> and then we will actually walk in the castle. Still working on that side, but if we go to this side, we'll see that he's got well, he's got something going over here. This is kind of like his base of operations. Where he's been building this castle from and doing everything else, basically, from. But uh, enchanting table, of course. This gets you that max level 30 enchants. Um, and I do got vanilla tweaks. <laughs> I think I already touched on that, but I got the 3D bookcases and that colorful enchantment stuff. Definitely go check out Vanilla Tweaks because, man, it changes things. Uh, it's super nice to have. And it's it's super modular as well. Um, but he has his bed up there, which doesn't even work. I actually had to run all the way back from spawn because I set my spawn here on accident. But, um, I don't know, super nice interior. Just got all his storage, crafting, enchanting. Like, what else do you really need? So, that's what's going on over there. And as you can see, he is not even close to finished or maybe he is i don't know maybe this is halfway i don't really know where he is in the project but um it's it's moving along mine andesite castle entrance castle pillars tunnel through valley boom 
Oh, and I think that tunnel through Valley is like we're gonna build something else like through the castle through there. Um, we're gonna start growing the outside of the valley as well, which I think will be super dope. But I think here, I think we pretty much touched on everything other than we got like a few farms. We have like an iron golem farm, which is a little bit far away. It's kind of like a pretty small scale one right now. Um, but we're going to work on growing kind of all this stuff and getting very industrialized. The server's kind of hitting the industrial re revolution right now, not going to lie. So just to get a, get a little history in there. But that's what's going on pretty much for our one week recap. So this has been one week of progress. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how... If we're gonna make like the same magnitude of progress uh in the next week or so so next time we get some real stuff going on um i'll keep you guys posted with updates so however long that is we'll see how many of these videos we actually end up making but till then folks we will see you later take care peace out